Hi, this is a little video showing how to complete the Unit 2 project for personal finance. So, you can see you click on Unit 2, then click on Content, okay? And then in the tab that says Unit 2, well, you sh at this point, you should have read through all the topics, right? Topic 1, 2, 3, 4, it looks like there are uh, 14 topics in Unit 2. If you haven't read through this, go please go back and read all this information before you do the project, okay? Um, you need to understand what they're talking about. But in order, to, in terms of doing the project, you click right here where it says Unit Project. Click there. And then um, all this information that comes up that tells you what to do and how to work through the project, uh, how to work through the, 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 uh, the unit project. So let's take a quick look at the actual project. And here it is here. I brought it up. Got it on half screen. And the first thing you need to do is, this is like, this is a dream project. This is great. You get to dream. You get to dream about a car that you want to own someday, you know? And so first you got to pick a car, you know, a Mustang, a, uh, you know, a, a Rio Kia or a Kia Rio or, or you know, whatever, <laughs> a Ford Focus, a, a Toyota Camry. And then you got to figure out the price of it. So you can get that by the uh, at the manufacturer's website. Then you've got to give me the URL of where you got the information. And then you've got to tell me why. You've got to write a paragraph. Why do you want this car? Do you want this car because it's, it, it's sporty and it looks nice and because it's got the color you want? Do you want it because it's fuel efficient? you want it because it doesn't cost much money? You've got to defend this in a paragraph. And I want that paragraph to be a full paragraph, uh, sentences, full sentences, uh, first word of the uh, of the sentence capitalized, a, a period at the end, six to eight sentences for a paragraph. Okay, a beginning, middle, and end, a topic sentence, a concluding sentence, the whole the whole thing, every a full paragraph. Okay, then what you need to do is you need to come down to the second question. Second question is you have to use the loan comparison calculator. Okay, and you've got to pick a lender. Well, where do you get this information from? Voila, the information is right here. If you scroll down um, on the unit project tab of the content, you'll see down here it says, hey, lender one, two, or three. And the, um, the first lender is, what do we have? We've got a first lender that has a loan, loan term of 36 months and an interest rate of 9.5%. The second, um, 48 months, 10.5%, and the third, 16 months, and 11.5%. Well, Look at that. What do you do? What's it looking for? What's a loan term? And what's the lender you chose? Lender 1, 2, or 3 goes right here. Then the loan term, 36 months, 48 months, 60 months. And then the interest rate, 9.5%, 10.5%, 11%. Now, where do you get the monthly payments and the interest rate? Well, you get that by scrolling down and using this calculator here. So you'd put in number of payments. If your number of payments is, uh, we'll say, 24 months, 2 years, and your interest rate is... 8.5 percent and the and the amount principal is how much you own owe on the, the thing how much you're going to borrow so suppose you're going to borrow eighteen thousand dollars watch this you put that information in there and the monthly payment and the total interest just pops right up you press compare and there it is one uh, eight hundred eighteen dollars and twenty cents a month and for a total interest of sixteen hundred dollars and thirty six sixteen hundred thirty six dollars and eighty five cents and you'd put that information right here, monthly payments and the total interest paid. And then you write a paragraph here that explains why you chose the loan that you chose, okay? This is, uh, hopefully you found this to be helpful and uh, hopefully you'll be able to complete this project um, without any problems or issue. And then make sure you put it in the Dropbox, okay? Good luck, I hope you found this helpful.